You're watching North Alabama's News Leader. This is News 19 at 10. Tonight, one, element, one lawmaker wants to give local police the authority to arrest people based on their immigration status. It's called the Lake and Riley Act. State Representative Ernie Yarbrough of Trinity pre-filed the bill for the 2025 legislative session. The Lake and Riley Act is named for the young woman from Georgia who was abducted and murdered. Police say the suspect, Jose Antonio Ibarra, entered the U.S. illegally. One lawmaker says the law is necessary, while those against it say it could lead to profiling. It creates a lot of fear and um, a lack of trust uh, between communities and law enforcement. Oh, well, you want to offer protection to the communities, but you also want to treat people fairly. Representative Ron Bolton of Northport says the bill would allow local police to take in and book those who enter the U.S. illegally. He says this is a tool that law enforcement needs in Alabama. They do need this, this tool of authorization when they encounter a person where during the investigation they have reason to believe that in addition to whatever they're looking at there in the country illegally and then they can take it and they can act on it at the local level. But Allison Hamilton with the Alabama Coalition for Immigrant Justice says otherwise. I mean, the biggest problem with this legislation is it allows local law enforcement to uh, racially profile people and decide if they think someone's undocumented and ask them about their status. She says the law could invoke fear and a lack of trust in communities. People are actually targeted when they're immigrants in Alabama. They're targeted for crimes because people know that they won't report to the police. But Bolton says the federal government may not always have enough people on the ground to enforce these laws. He says the bill is an authorization to help, not profile others. That's what I don't want it to become is uh, I don't want officers coming in and deciding they can just stop everybody that looks like they're a foreign national and they can produce identification based on reasonable suspicion, but because that's not fair under the Constitution right there. Representative Alan Treadaway, chair of the Homeland Security Committee, says the bill should pass out of their committee early in the 2025 session. The session begins in February.